Wow, I am feeling so tired today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is really gonna help me come alive. I'm not feeling optimal right now. Today is probably the last day I'll be here and then we're leaving. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I really don't, I have no idea. So it's almost New Year's. I got invited to a party. Well, okay, I take that back. I invited myself to a New Year's Eve party. I'm really excited because I haven't gone to a party in seriously like six years. And so this year I just thought, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to a New Year's Eve party. Um, I've spent the last like four or five New Year's Eves with my parents. I honestly cannot remember the last time I even stayed up until 12 on New Year's Eve. I feel like the most boring person in their 20s ever, honestly. So anyways, I am going to a party. I'm so excited. The first thing I need to do is design a dress. So I found this design here that I kind of want to emulate. This black one I really like, except I want to shorten it. So I'm gonna draw it out and kind of just change a couple of things and change the neckline a little bit and just draw something that is as close to what I'm imagining. Okay, so I just finished this design. I really like it. I kind of want to make it look a little bit like a nightgown. Um, so I'm gonna go to the fabric store and just see what I can find there. Something I really like about winter is just how relaxing it is. I feel like in the summertime, the energy is so high. And when it's really nice and sunny outside, I feel like this kind of internal pressure to like be doing fun things and be, yeah, taking advantage of the summer. And so it feels like I, I, I feel bad for doing nothing in a sense. But in the winter time, I don't feel bad at all for doing nothing. In fact, doing nothing is the best part of winter, I think. This winter I've spent like probably 90% of it in sweatpants, which is pretty much all you could really ask for in life. <laughs> So I can't decide whether to get this one, which is like 100% linen, or this one, which is like a linen cotton blend. This one's like a lot whiter. And then this one is like, I like this one more. I think it's just like the 100% linen. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so here's the thing. I am taking kind of a big risk here. I'm just kind of making up the pattern for this dress, which it could be a big mistake because it could end in disaster. And then I wouldn't have a dress to wear tomorrow. So yeah. So the top of the dress ended up fitting very odd and unflattering. And after a full day of trying to fix it, I just decided to kind of give up on this pattern and draw a new one that I was more familiar with. I ended up actually just cutting the top of the dress off and I eventually used the bottom part for the new dress I made. I stayed up very late that night working on it and was extremely tired by the end of it. I'm almost done with this dress. Right now I'm just finishing the zipper. I absolutely don't like putting zippers in. Not because it's hard. Well, it's not even true, it is hard. Mostly just because my stitches just are never straight and I always like sew onto the zipper and uh, it's just a mess. I don't know, this whole thing has been a mess. 
It's an invisible zipper, so it'll be kind of hidden within the dress. Okay, okay, I am done, I am done. Where are these scissors? Oh, oh, I'm done. Okay, wait, no. I take that back, I'm not, I'm not even close to being done. I still have some hands to do. Okay, so I just had a realization. I don't have any shoes to wear. I own two pairs of shoes and neither of them would fit with my dress that I made. So I need to go buy some shoes. So I'm gonna go to Goodwill, I think, right now and see what I can find. How about these little puppies? Those are cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're talking. I've honestly never worn heels before in my life, so that could be a really interesting thing to try. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I don't care about just, <laughs> Oh my yes. god. These so they don't oh fit. My god. This is so terrifying. I I feel like I'm gonna fall. I know, right? I didn't realize heels were so unstable. How about these puppies? Oh, now these are kind of fun. Nice little glitter. I feel like something simple. Okay, wait, actually these are, these aren't bad. They're kind of like simple. These, those look really comfortable. How about these? Slippers? So I'm going on a road trip tomorrow and I'm gonna make some bread to bring in the car just because for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but you're always hungrier when you're like stuck in a car, you know what I mean? The trick with banana bread is you really want your bananas to be kind of like perfectly ripe like this, you know? They need to have a lot of brown spots on them because that makes it nice and sweet. Also, the secret ingredient of banana bread is chocolate chips. I feel like that makes it just so much better. I feel kind of like I'm a freshman in high school and I'm going to my first party tonight, you know that like excitement about your first party ever. That's kind of how I feel because I've been like wanting like social interaction for so long. I bought this eyeliner today. It's like a pen. <laughs> I don't know if I can even put this on. That's the thing. It might be a huge fail. Oh my. Uh oh, this is starting to look bad. How far are you supposed to put it? My hand is like seriously shaking so much. I drank way too much coffee today because I'm trying to stay up till the new year. After my friend canceled on me, I decided to go to the beach to watch the last sunset of the year. Sitting on the beach tonight, I thought about this past year. Looking back on it, I feel like I didn't really accomplish any of the goals that I had set out to do. And at first that realization made me a little discouraged, but then I thought about how instead I learned so much about myself and life and I had a lot of failures and maybe those lessons are more important than accomplishing the goals. Maybe this year I need to learn those lessons so that next year I can approach each thing in my life with a little more wisdom.
just watched the most amazing sunset. I can't believe this is the last day of the year. I'm feeling really emotional right now. I've just been thinking about this past year and I feel like so much of this year I spent making decisions based on fear and I feel like I kind of stopped believing in myself this year. And I can really think back to a time in my life when I really did trust myself and believe in myself and when I had an idea or like an intuition, I would go for it and I would, yeah, I would feel really driven and I wouldn't second guess myself. And I just feel like, I don't know, this year I just like was constantly second guessing myself and constantly feeling like I'm not good enough. And honestly, I'm so done with that way of thinking. I, I'm really gonna focus this year on just trusting myself and yeah, we're all, just trying our best, you know? And I think I learned a lot this year and that was definitely something I can <laughs> for sure say. And even though this year may not have gone the way I wanted it to per se, um, I definitely learned some lessons that I needed to learn and that's really beautiful. So if you guys didn't accomplish what you wanted to accomplish, it's okay because, you know, life led you to where you needed to be. That night I had a fire and wrote down some of the things that I'm letting go of from this year. And then I burned those pages and it felt really good to feel those things leaving me. I spent the evening eating bread and watching a movie with the cat. And when the clock turned 12, I was with my parents, which honestly I couldn't ask for anything more.